My name is Christian Guzman, and today I want to. I know a lot of you guys have been subscribed to my channel, you keep up with the videos, and I also know that a lot of you guys are new to the channel and don't quite know me or know my story, know my background, and so that's what I want to dive into today. First year of college, I went to Texas Christian University. Just felt like I didn't fit in. At that time, I was extremely into fitness. Um, I was, it was my passion, it was my hobby. I would stay up late just reading articles on simplyshredded.com. I would watch YouTube videos of people like Steve Cook and Greg Plitt. And my second semester there, I decided to buy a camcorder. I want to tell you guys a quick story that I feel like was a turning point mentally for me. So we just finished finals and I was headed back to Houston. And I ran out of gas. I called my mom and said, hey mom, um, you know, I need a little bit of gas to get home. Can you transfer, you know, like 40 bucks to my account and I'll be able to get home. And she was working, she wasn't home. She wasn't able to. So literally guys, I was at that gas station, like sitting on the curb with my car empty like I was looking for quarters and dollars in my car and like under the seats and stuff and I was there for three four hours just waiting for the forty dollars to go through after that I finally it finally went through I got some gas in my car got pulled over I was going about I think like 78 79 and 65 so I was speeding and and I remember just thinking, like my heart dropped. I was like, this is the worst timing. Like I don't have any money to pay this. I don't have anything saved up. And that was, that was it. I went home, I met my parents. I didn't want to tell them about the ticket because I knew they'd be upset with me. What I did was I went to my room at my parents' house. And I literally just went through my room and picked up items that I thought I could make some money on. From there, I drove down to the pawn shop, which ironically is about literally 30 seconds away from the current gym, and I sold everything. You know, I think they were offering me like a dollar per DVD, and anyway, everything added up to enough to pay that ticket. Um, so I paid the ticket off. And then uh, Sunday when he was going back, I went and I cleaned his car a little bit, and I found a speeding ticket. So what Christian was trying to do was go get money so he can pay for the speeding ticket without telling us. But I was not angry at him anymore because he was leaving already, <laughs> going back to college. <laughs> and I will always be grateful for my parents helping me out. You know, they were sending me, you know, $100 every week for food and for groceries. And they didn't want me to, their reasoning was they did not want me to have a job because that would distract me from school. They wanted me to give school and my classes and my tests and my quit you know, all that everything I had and uh, for me you know even though I was so lucky to have my parents helping me out that was a that was a turning point I realized wow I'm really gonna go like two possibly three more years in school like living like this like hey mom can you deposit 40 50 bucks to my account um, I need to go get some food or I'm out of groceries I'm out of gas and you know at that point I needed to do something and that's when I decided you know what this fitness stuff like I'm getting a pretty good response on these videos and things I'm getting a lot of emails and I started to give it more effort um, you know I hate saying this but during lectures and stuff I would be posting on Instagram and on Facebook and saying hey if you guys have any questions just email me I'd be happy to answer and I would answer I would answer emails when I was pretending to take notes I realized as I started becoming more consistent that this could turn into something and it's not what I had planned it's not what my goal was, but I realized there was an opportunity. And that's when I started looking for different ways to possibly make some money. How can I, how can I turn this passion into a lifestyle? How can I make this my, my job? How, is there, and you know, I wanted to go into health and fitness. I was already doing health and fitness on my emails. Was, how can I make this something? And I eventually came up with my platform. Everything was good to go on online coaching. I started offering meal plans, macros, and custom workout plans. I think I charged like 50 bucks um, to work on a program and to work with someone. And that grew and grew and grew. Honestly, like the rest is history. Without that turning point, that realization, and literally going through my parents' house, like in my room, and taking DVDs and everything to that pawn shop, like I literally, I'll never forget that day. I even thought about selling my guitars that I had. And I, I think I took one, but they didn't offer me enough, and so I didn't sell it. But like that was definitely a huge starting point for me um, and I guess the take-home message with this is you may not know what your passion is now you may not know where you're headed or where you're going 
but always be open to opportunity guys always if you if you notice that you're in a spot that that you're not happy with that you're not comfortable with do something about it take some action brainstorm what are you good at what can you offer the world how can I, what can you do for the world to make it just a little bit better can you help someone can you help 10 people can you help 50 people 500,000 people and if you can figure out how you can do that then you can literally transform that into anything you want you can correlate that to what you want and i'm not trying to say that school is you know i'm not trying to talk negatively about school or anything but there's a point where even if you're going to school for something you don't know where you're going to be in two years you don't know where you're be in five or ten years all you can do is be open opportunity practice a skill become good at something and when opportunities come be ready don't miss them don't shut your mind off be open to hearing new things be open to trying new things and if you do decide that you're going to try something new give it everything you can give it 100 percent because i promise you in a few years if you if you continually put that effort in even though opportunities might fall through, things might not work out, it may happen 10, 15, it, might, it may happen a thousand times. You may fail and just not do well, not succeed. But if you are truly, truly giving your effort, and your effort is more than you know, trust me, you are capable of so much more than you think you can. Are you really pushing yourself that hard? Ask yourself that. Are you really doing everything you can? If you can answer yes to that, eventually something is gonna happen. Opportunity and preparation are gonna meet. And when that meets and you stick with things, you're gonna turn back years later and look at what you've built, look at the empire that you've built. Alright guys, so with that, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. This video was made by Giovanni, who I'm going to link in the description box. Giovanni is a filmmaker. He takes his time and creates some amazing pieces, which I would highly recommend you guys to go check out. He's definitely going places. I believe in him. So first, link in the description box. Go subscribe. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one.